I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna ruffle some feathers today, upset some people. Hopefully talk some people out of getting chickens. That way I just leave the right people still ready to get chickens. Now let's get started with this toilet paper right here. I want you to close your eyes. The year's 2020, you just went to seven different stores to try to find toilet paper because nowhere has it in stock. And finally, you turn the corner to go down the toilet paper aisle and you see the toilet paper there. There's an old lady reaching up for the toilet paper and you knock her down as you grab as many packages as you possibly can because you don't know when you're gonna get it again. You go home feeling victorious and triumphant because you finally got the toilet paper that you so desperately needed. And here we are some years later and you still haven't bought toilet paper. You're still using the stockpile that you bought how many years ago? Every once in a while you go into your storage closet and you pull a package out and you still have a year's left in there. Coronavirus made us do some crazy things like stockpile of toilet paper. But then we had another flu that made us do some more crazy things. Let me show you. Right now I'm gonna call IFA and see if they have any chicks available. Thank you for calling Ogden IFA. This is how may I help you? Hi, I'm just seeing if you guys have any uh, chicks in stock. Any chickens left? Yeah. Um, let me ask. This is quick. All right, so we only have three chickens left, and we, and we have one one milfler and two and two buff bronx. Oh. I'm pretty sure that's how you say them. <laughs> All right, I appreciate it. Thank you. Yep, is that everything? Yep, that was everything. All right, have a great day. You too. Bye. IFA normally has hundreds or even probably thousand chicks at a time. Let's try another one. This is Church of Plain West Haven. How can I help you? Hi, I'm just seeing if you guys have any chicks available. We don't have any ch chicks right now. We are sold out. We could possibly have some tomorrow. Okay, awesome. I appreciate it. Yes, you're welcome. Okay, bye. bye. Let's try another one. This is Cal Ranch, another country store out here. Hi, I'm just seeing if you guys have any chicks available. Any what? I'm sorry. Uh, chicks? Uh, baby chickens? No. No chicks. Okay. Okay. I appreciate it. Thank you. Maybe tomorrow. If okay. it's warm. Okay. I, bye bye. Okay. Bye. So out of every store within a 20 mile radius of my house, there's three chicks. And if I were to go there right now, those chicks would be gone by the time I got there. Right now, people are driving hours to go find their chicks. They're, they're driving to different states to go find them because nowhere has them in stock. Everybody wants to get chicks right now because of the whole avian flu thing and the egg prices rising. Everybody's interested in getting them, but nobody can find them. And as somebody that has a YouTube channel that, that talks about chickens and having chickens, I should absolutely love this newfound interest in keeping chickens and trying to find chickens. I should love it, but I'm torn. I honestly believe that every family in America should have chickens because the benefits of that are just astronomical and I can't get into all of that in just a short video like this one. What I'm hoping is happening is people are just kind of realizing how fragile our food system is and they're trying to pull themselves away from it as much as possible and taking that step toward being self-sufficient. I think that that would be a huge win in this situation. What does worry me a little bit is that people are seeing these egg prices and they're kind of just getting scared. And their first knee jerk reaction is to run to the store and get chickens to start getting their own eggs because they think it's gonna be cheaper. Having your own chickens is always gonna be more expensive than getting your own eggs from the store. Unless you're doing it on a really large scale and selling some of those eggs, then that would be cheaper in the long run. But for most families, backyard chickens are more expensive. That stockpile of toilet paper that you've had sitting in your closet for the last three years, that doesn't cost you any money. That sits there rent free, you don't have to worry about it. Chickens on the other hand, they take time, they take effort, they take money, they take energy, they take all these different things and you can't just put them in a closet and forget about them. I'm honestly worried that the people standing in these lines to get these chicks, they haven't done the research that they need to. They don't know what it takes to take a chick and turn it into a adult hen that is laying eggs. There's a lot that goes into that. Okay, okay girls, there you go. There you go girls, they love this stuff. I honestly think that there's a large portion of people that they just don't want to rely on the food system anymore. They want to provide for themselves and I can definitely get behind that. That is a great reason to get chickens. I think it is so important and increasingly important to provide for yourself, whether it be through a garden or through chickens or whatever other animals or whatever other source of food that you have. I think that is, it, it is getting more and more important every single day to start just providing for yourself. There's, there's a lot of people that are getting chickens for the right reasons this year, but there's other people that aren't. And I have a prediction, and don't quote me on it, but I have a prediction. 
and I think it's gonna come true. I'm not too worried about finding myself the, the chicks that I wanted to this season. And I think that's because I know that by the, by the time this fall comes and the days start getting shorter and these birds stop laying that all these people got, they're not gonna want them anymore. Or they're gonna realize that these, these chicks, they aren't these, these cute little chicks anymore and they're gonna turn into adult hens that maybe outgrew the, the coops that they had or maybe they got just way too many chicks. There's gonna be a massive influx of chickens this year on whatever marketplace you go to, whether it be Facebook, KSL, Craigslist, doesn't matter. There's gonna be a huge influx of chickens, really, really cheap or even free. People are gonna be begging you to take them from them because they probably shouldn't have had them in the first place. But I also think that at the end of this whole situation and at the end of probably just this one year of people just rushing to get their chicks, I think that, that when we come out the other side of it, there's gonna be more people that, that are thinking about getting their own food and creating their own food and providing for themselves. And I think that's great. So I think at the end of the day, I think this is a good thing. I think there will be a few bad eggs, <laughs> pun intended. I think there will be a few bad eggs, but I think the overall majority, this is gonna be a positive thing and I'm excited for it. And if you are one of those people that you just want chickens right now because you wanna be self-sufficient and you want to create your own food, go stand in line. Go wait for those chickens, drive wherever you need to drive, go to whatever state you need to go to, go get your chickens because I support it 100%. I think it's a great idea. And if you're doing it for the right reasons, you should absolutely do it no matter where you have to go to get them. And if you're one of those people that's like, oh man, maybe I should look more into this, go watch this video right here. We go over kind of the basic care of them, the pros, the cons, kind of what it takes to take care of chickens. And by the end of that video, you should know 100% if they're right for you. So go watch that video and I'll see you there.